Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Gearson Regard MCBX 9mm handgun that is a Beretta copy. Now Gearson is making a name for themselves. You're starting to hear about them, you, you read about them. A lot of people are saying you get a lot of gun for the money. They make a lot of copies from more popular handguns and it is made in Turkey and people rave about them for the most part. They say it shoots great, it looks great, it performs just as well. Well, I cannot verify that. I will say that this gives a a overall profile. Like you see Beretta all throughout. You know, you got the the slide that Beretta calls the Brigadier slide. You have the flat dark earth with the M9A3. This also comes in a blued model and so does the Beretta M9A3. But overall, it's a pretty nice looking package with aluminum frame. The MSRP on this is 588. I picked this up locally from a gentleman. Okay, no gun store or anything. I paid 400 even. Now, he said he hasn't shot it. There are no signs of any wear. And I knew that because this tag was on the trigger guard. People typically would remove that if they go to the range. But it does come with a lock, a bore brush, and this hard case. But it is imported by EAA. EAA lost Tanfolio, but they picked up Gearson, and a lot of people are taking notice. So it's getting more popular. You know, it's 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 less expensive. Will it shoot as well? I doubt it, but perhaps it will. I don't know. I haven't taken it to the range yet. This is my first Gearson, and I think 400 is a fair price. You really can't get hurt too much. What I like about it is 18 round mags. Now my Breda 92X Performance, which I love, comes with 15 round mags with that long base plate there. This will work just fine in the Beretta 92X Performance. And the 15 round mag will work in the Gearson Regard. I already checked that out. So that's a... Uh, a sure sign that it's a copy. They stepped away from Beretta a bit with the G10 grips. I think this gray and black splash look to it is is okay. I would have liked to see maybe a little more black in it to, to really set off the flat dark earth, but really no complaints. G10 grips is, is pretty nice. One of the things I noticed right away is that double action trigger pull is really heavy. Single action, you're looking at right around four and a half pounds. Let me go ahead and drop the mag. But the double action pull is really heavy. I mean, that is heavy. I I think I would have trouble staying on target with, you know, if I had to shoot in double action, like just staying on target as you're pulling that. It makes a double action revolver seem minimal, in my opinion. The... 92X performance, that double action is really nice. Most people are shooting single action. Let's uh, not kid ourselves here. You're looking at a four and a half pound trigger pull with a reset right there. So no complaints with that single action. Still has the slide mounted thumb safety decocker. Okay, performs just like the M9 models. 5.2 inch threaded barrel, full pick rail there, aluminum frame. 18 round mags overall similar look if we look at the back of the slide with the 92x performance you'll see the same markings there the same functions and then the brigadier slide right there okay it does have three dot drift adjustable sights and it, it feels pretty good now it does not have any checkering of any sort but it does have a slight finger ledges i guess are really not finger grooves feels pretty good in the hand does have some vertical serrations in the back nothing like the 92x performance that is much more heavily textured uh, the m9 a3 has that lanyard loop right there and this does as well okay and even if we look at the internals we will see that it is very similar you push that button in right there and move this down and off comes the slide sort of a beefy rails there all right starting to see that more and more it is cerakoted throughout here we have an uncaptured recoil spring you have to take the thread cap off to take out the barrel i don't know how necessary this is but 
it is something that you have to do but what I wanted to show you is right here this get in there there it is that, that, that thing will stick on you at times and you end up having to play with it to get it in its proper position but that's Breda all day long with this gear son regard and there's the look at the slide very similar look and somewhat of a, a similar feel you, you look at it and you look at the flat dark earth and you'll see that the the m983 if you if you take a close look at that you will see similarities but you will also see differences and when you see those differences makes you wonder what's going on there and then just cock it back and that will put that back into the same position that it's supposed to be in and then of course you have the thread cap here let's get it on the scale we'll wrap this thing up the gear sign regard and say well you know you can get this over Beretta well let's put it this way you could save money by getting this over Beretta I don't know if you're gonna get the same quality like I said I just got it but it, it seems pretty cool two pounds three and a quarter ounce just ounces we're looking at 35 and an eighth here are 18 rounds 42 and three quarters let's go ahead and put a chambered round 43 and then in a quarter all right if we check out this 92x performance let's put the mag in there to be fair we will see that's weighing in at 56 that steel frame is awesome i'm a fan of the m9s i took the m983 out and shot the lights out with it i'm hoping to copy that gear sign copied the bretta i want to copy the bretta shooting impressions and if i can do that i think <clears throat> it'll be a, a purchase well made if not i'm moving on <laughs> you know that's what i do if i love it i keep it if i don't love it it's gone and we'll see how it does. I, I have to believe it's going to be just fine. But I'm taking it to the range. And we'll see how the Gearson Regard MCBX does. That That's sort of a mouthful. MCBX. I, I try to figure out what that stands for. I got no indication at all from the EAA site. But here it is. If you like the controls of the Berettas, it's on here. If you like the breakdown and everything else... It's on here. You like G10 grips? There it is. 18 round mags. No complaints there. They only give you one, but an MSRP of 588. Pick it up somewhere between 4 and 450, and you're doing okay. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.